if you're tired of trying harder. What we're going to talk about these next six weeks are going to be like a breath of fresh air to infuse new love into all of your relationships. Now, the Bible tells us that love is the highest value in life, and the Bible tells us that we need God's strength to love. It also tells us the second major truth is that love is the primary objective of life. It's not just the greatest value, it's the primary objective. In fact, in these 40 days of love study, I'm going to lead you through a study of the greatest chapter in the Bible about love. It's called the love chapter. It's in 1 Corinthians, a book in the New Testament, chapter 13. And we're going to see what this chapter has to say about how love acts and how love lasts. And 1 Corinthians 13 begins with God telling us that nothing you do is more important than love. In fact, he says in the first three verses of 1 Corinthians 13, he says it in five different ways. He wants to make sure that we understand the supreme value of love. In fact, I'm going to ask you to write these down with me in your study guide. Why is love to be the primary objective in life? More than success or status or salary or sex or anything else. Because number one, the Bible says, if I don't live a life of love, nothing I say will matter. Nothing I say will matter. Verse 1 says this, If I could speak in any language in heaven or on earth, but I didn't love others, it would only be making meaningless noise, like a loud gong or a, a clanging cymbal. God says words without love are just noise. God says words without love are empty. God says words without love are worthless.